Hey guys, it's a Mad Master here. I'm just going to be doing like a weekly vlog, blog, podcast kind of thing just for shits and giggles and just whatever topic, you know, I come up with. And that week, that given week, I'll be putting up on my channel. So eventually I'm going to probably be doing a monthly full length podcast, depending. So got a lot of hobbies and a lot of shit going on. So this is just another thing, but I don't care. So the subject of today's video, even though there's no video, <laughs> This would be a graphic on the fucking screen that you're looking at. I don't give a shit. Is Christianity. So, I've had a lot of arguments with Christian friends about Christianity over the years. And I did my video maybe a year or two ago about Christianity. Top five reasons or whatever. I'm not a Christian. So, I just kind of wanted to clarify, clear the air, what, you know, what I maybe get a, a little bit of indication what I do believe or what parts of Christianity I agree with or what I don't. So one of the main issues I have with Christianity is this black and white worldview about <clears throat> there's a Satan, there's a God, you know, there's no gray area in between evil and good and all this shit. So my problem with that is that that just doesn't bear fruit into reality. And if you look at a lot of people that have done, tried to do the right thing have actually done bad things, just like uh, reli you know, religion itself has done a lot of bad things in the name of good. And you really can't uh, you know, do any mental gymnastics for any, th any way about it. So when anybody says they have the truth, I just question them. You know, that's part of my rebellious nature. But I just, uh, you know, I just don't think that that's a logical thing to have is, oh, I'm, I'm right and you're wrong. You're going to burn in hell. So I have a few Christians that I know that don't believe in eternal hell, but nevertheless, well, hell for whatever amount of time, I still think that's wrong. It's like this kind of mental gymnastics they do because they're more liberal Christians or whatever. But, and there's been the thing brought up where, I don't like the watered-down liberal version of anything that's uh, because it contradicts itself inherently. And I kind of, I, it sounds kind of like a, it sounds kind of like a slam against people or Christianity, but in a way, I do respect fundamentalists more because of the fact that they are more consistent with their beliefs. So if the Bible says something, they won't try to bend backwards to not buy into it because, the, it, you know, they want to seem like a modern, normal human being rather than, you know, a Bronze Age uh, tyrant or whatever. So I kind of respect a person who believes in the Bible. And this kind of sounds like a, a little bit of a weird uh, stretch because to go to this, but, you know, some of the early black metal bands in, in Norway, second wave black metal bands, some of the guys, I know this is all mainly for shock value and shit a lot of the time, but some of the guys said, oh, I, you know, I like Orthodox Christianity because it's more consistent than the liberal pansy ass. Well, that's what they said. I'm not saying that, you know, anything about, uh, I'm not using that as, as actual actual uh, slur against anybody, but that's the, literally what they said pretty much. So they basically went against, you know, Christianity had like more of a liberal bent. So in a way, I understand what they mean because it's more consistent, less hypocritical. So, you know, a lot of Christians say, well, the conservative Christians are hypocritical because they don't believe in love and what Jesus said, but they're hypocritical as well. They're both hypocritical because they're trying to cherry pick what they believe in Christianity. And I say, why even believe in it to begin with? And it's not like I, I, you know, I respect some forms of Christianity, like more esoteric versions of Christianity. Maybe not a, you know, I don't know if I believe in a little, literal Jesus, but if people believe in this force that they call Jesus, and I think this is actually, there, was, there is actually some of this in Catholicism and, and some other, I, I'm not recalling all my readings very well, but 
you know, there is this idea of esoteric Christianity in a more of a, on a, in a more uh, esoteric level rather than, you know, the Bible really happened and blah, 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 you know. So I respect that. And, like, I do read actually some stuff from A Course in Miracles, which actually helped me years back go through a depression. So I believe in some of that stuff. And it's kind of more of a new age thing. So it might surprise some people, but whatever. So that's one of the main things about Christianity that I don't like is just the hypocrisy from both sides, from both the more liberal versions and more of the conservative versions. It's like, well, you're believing this book and you're following it and you're not following through on this stuff. So, and that, that's one of the reasons why I just, you know, I, I'll go in a little background is that I used to be a Christian and I believed, but I was more of a uh, accepting type of Christian. Like I believed all religions led to God or whatever. You know, I was more of like a what do they call it? A, you know, I believe I believed in uh, pluralism. So, and that you know that's gotten me in some arguments too with Christians. Like the only right way is Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, fucking, how do you know? How the fuck do you know? You know, a person that's, and that's the, that's one of the things that doesn't make sense. It's like, so, and I don't. What I don't get is when things happen, when things happen that are good in someone's life, they say, "Oh, it's God helping you." It's like, well, what if they're not a Christian? Is it still God? Is it still God to have like a, a precognitive dream that comes true? You know, it's it, or is it Satan because it's not coming from a Christian part of point of view and. No, that's one thing that the Christian thing is just so fucking, oh, God, I hate it, pun unintended. So another thing about Christianity is there's there's really not a lot of, I mean, I, I will say there's just not a lot of evidence about a lot of the biblical events happening. The archaeology is very, very inconsistent about it. So, I mean, I've said that in my other video, and I'll just say that right now. But the main thing... It's this black and white, dualistic view of the world. And I guess it makes things simpler for people that don't want to comprehend more complex, nuanced ideas in the universe and the world to have shades of gray amongst the black and white and up, up and down and whatever. So they believe in this black and white view of the world. And dualism is just, that is really, and this is where the idea of Satanism comes in. <laughs> In my point of view, so Satanism is kind of an attack on, in a way, it's an attack on dualistic thinking because it's like, well, if that's bad, when why isn't this bad? And, you know, it's kind of questions a lot of that, like Anton LaVey had said. So what happened to me was I started to question Christianity probably when I was about 18, 19 years old because when I was a teenager, I was a metalhead, and I listened to a few satanic, quote-unquote, satanic bands. You know, there's a lot of different reasons why heavy metal talks about Satanism and all that. And I'll, I'll actually go into that in uh, articles on my website, which I'll post uh, once I start doing that. So the problem there was, well, I don't want to listen to this satanic music because It'll corrupt me and make me want to do bad things and all this stuff. So I actually believe that. I believe these things for a while. And am along with that was the belief in, in other areas of my life where I was going to meet a wife at, an, at a certain age and get married and have children and all this stuff. Like God was, you know, going to help me with that and all this stuff. So I'm saying this because, you know, I do know a few people that believe this still, which kind of and I didn't even know them when I believed it, that, that they had these beliefs until later when I met up with them again. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting because a lot of their beliefs mirrored mine when I was younger. And that's what I see, so I feel really bad about their lives and shit and want them to see the light, quote, or pun, the light of Lucifer. No. So that's not true. But anyway, so I read the Satanic Bible and really resonated with me in some ways. And I still don't 
I don't totally commit to that, but I do. I I started to understand what, where the satanic viewpoint came f- came from, and I wasn't scared by it anymore because a lot of the black metal bands from uh, the Scandinavia may have talked about Satan here and there, professed to be Satanists, but it really was about something deeper, you know, more. And and I'll go into that with with my articles that I'm going to be posting on Mad Warriors Metal Madness, which is one of my websites, and I'm working on getting better. Um, so that was one of the things that got me into that. And I was just like, well, you know, I still believe in a moral compass, but that doesn't mean that I don't buy into some of these ideas either. And I've always been very pluralistic, even though I identified as a Christian. And so I started to question a lot of the stuff. I, you know, I, it's like spiritual possession by the devil. And, you know, a lot of these things, the devil, it's the devil himself. I don't know if there is a devil because it's like this scapegoat that is everything bad in the world. And then, you know, what LaVey and others have said is that it's the force of rebellion in nature, you know. And I started to identify with that. I still do actually identify with that, that version of Satan because I think the zeitgeist of reality is something that, you know, you have to always go, you know, against the status quo because that's usually what will pro- create progress in our world. And I don't know if that makes sense to anybody out there, but it's very deep, you know, Frederick Nietzsche, Nietzsche and uh, Anton LaVey and even some of Ayn Rand's stuff, not uh, obviously a lot of her stuff is pretty fucking obnoxious, but a lot of it's good too. I do like a lot of it. But um, and it, the economic stuff I disagree with, so that makes any sense. But yeah, that started to get me into that, those ideas. And those, it's actually romantic, uh, from the romantic period of literature, philosophy, thought, art, and classical music, is that's where a lot of those ideas came from. And that's what permeated heavy metal, whether or not the band was you know, talking about Satan or whatever. That's where a lot of the metal came from, romantic era ideas, pretty much. I mean, the European, you know, Wagnerian kind of, kind of thing, that's what in, what's in metal is what was in, you know, the 1800s, or 19, well, it should be, uh, you know, the, the 19th century of art. So that, that's basically what happened with that. So I, I started to get, you know, realize all this stuff at that point. So there, therefore, I, I became more uninhibited about sexuality and just these ideas, because I just started to believe, you know, I started to I used to believe in the Antichrist would come and all this Armageddon and all this shit. So, and I used to read Nostradamus and believe in the end of the world. And I realized what Christianity does, and this is a very important point, is it makes people believe in this dualistic version of reality. And it's fatalistic kind of thing, this uh, negative view of the world, negative misanthropic. You know, I have a song called End Times with my band Pathless Land, and I talk about this. This is kind of what I'm talking about. It's, it's this idea of humans are flawed. Humanity's, you know, flawed. They're evil. The fall of man, the, the fallen world, darkness. It's a very dark, morbid view of reality. It's not positive. It's very negative. And so when I realized that, then that the other side, <laughs> so to speak, was actually more positive because it believed humans had potential. Humans were good inherently. There's nothing wrong with a lot of what humans do because what happens with humans is when they repress certain emotions or repress things, that's when, where the evil, quote unquote, comes about. Not always, but, you know, that's what, that's what, like, a lot of these Republican politicians are all into, like, fucking, you know, they're pedophiles or they're fucking whatever, you know, they're doing stuff in the bathroom and they're, you know, passing anti-gay laws, but then they're, you know, gay, gay in some Minnesota airport bathroom or something. It's just all this, you know, repressed shit. So I realized that and I was like, it was kind of a, it was kind of a paradigm shift. And so that really got me out of Christianity. And I still believe in some of the Christian beliefs, you know, about 
doing good to others and the golden rule and all that. But I don't, you know, I don't believe that's originally from Christianity. It was actually an older, uh, some older philosophies that came about and Christianity kind of soaked up. But I still believe in some of those things. But that does not mean that I believe in this view of the, the universe and the world as being flawed. And that's actually a lot of religion in general is that be, they believe matter is evil, you know, like uh, material things are bad. And, you know, I, I was actually raised with some of the Eastern philosophies. There's friends of, you know, some of my family or people that said a lot of this stuff. And I was just like, I was, it, you know, kind of somewhat indoctrinated with it. So at this point in time, it's like, what's wrong with buying a fucking nice car? You know, or who cares? Is it going to harm someone? Is it going to harm someone to, to enjoy something in life? So that's really where I started to change. And I started to view these religions as, uh, and especially Christianity, as very flawed and very inhuman and dark. You know, so Kali Yuga, it's like the uh, Hindu concept that we're living in the end times or the dark, the dark period of humanity. And it's like, well... Wow, well, if you're going to view the, the world as that, isn't it kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy? You're going to view humans as flawed. You're going to start unconsciously treating them in a you know, bad way. And that's your superior because you know this knowledge, this God's, you know, the God's or God's knowledge about how humans really operate. And to me, that's just the most smug, arrogant, fuck-face mentality that anybody could have. And that's why I am fervently in many ways anti-christian at this point so that's kind of what i had to say about that and that's that's a very uh deep philosophical disagreement with organized religion and christianity in general because i don't think humans are as flawed as people say it, it, it permeates political ideas too so whether or not you're on the left or the right the left believes people are you know, the, actually, the left does believe in the potential of people in a certain way that's different than the right. But they're both, they both believe, oh, people are, ugh, they're so flawed, and we have to do this, we have to do that. It's like, it's, this, it's like a humanity's low self-esteem. It's like, we're so bad and terrible and evil. Ugh. And it's like, and that's, that's really what I don't like about religion and Christianity. Just, they the dark death cult of our modern world. This guy died, you know, it's, it's worshiping death, literally, because you're worshiping a guy that died, purportedly, you know, if he actually existed, which I am split on, too, because there's not been compelling evidence. There's been some evidence that, you know, there was things that were forged. There has been, there's been no, there's no, there's actually no, contemporary meaning when he was alive evidence that jesus existed not not one shred of evidence i mean there's been discoveries that have been disputed later and then they're just disproven pretty much and i don't say that to like say that you shouldn't believe in god or christianity but i just say that as like well you know it's like you're following something that's not even, if you're, if you're following something so fervently that's not even real, or you can't even, and you're, you're trying to prove that it's real, that's very flawed to me. I, that's why I respect the whole, like, this vague concept of God. If you believe in that and you don't, you're not uh, literal about Christianity, I respect that more. But if you actually believe that this shit happened, like the flood and, like, uh, Garden of Eden and all this shit, that's just fucking nuts. I mean, it's a metaphor, obviously. And it's a metaphor that I don't like because the metaphor is that humans, oh, humans bad. Oh, we're bad. You know, it's a fallen world. We're so terrible and we have to, we have to follow this thing or else we're just going to be, we're just children, you know, of, of shit, you know, just of death and destruction because we don't follow this God. And, and the irony is that people that follow God are the most destructive people on the planet a lot of the time. Or they purport to follow God. And 
atheists or people that are more, you know, uh, less organized about their spiritual beliefs seem to be the better people a lot of the time. And, you know, people say, well, communism was atheist. Yeah, well, there's no proof that communism was really about atheism and it wasn't focused on that. It was a worship of the state. But either, either way, it's like, well, and then they say, well, Hitler, and then the other side says, Hitler was a Christian. Look at Christianity. He was, I mean, it was a very, com- it's way more complicated than Hitler was a Christian. There was some occult shit in there, you know, the Nazi party. And there was, you know, all sorts of pagan beliefs and all sorts of stuff. So people that simplify these things are just fucking stupid, in my opinion. But anyways, before I get too pissed off, I'm going to call it a day on this uh not call it a day on this podcast, but, you know, call it a day for today. So please subscribe and uh, see you next week.